everyone, in this video I will be teaching you how to do advanced cross and F2L, the first two parts of the Frederick method. video as you can tell I'm gonna teach you um advanced cross and F2L. Um the Friedrich method has four parts. Um it the Friedrich method is also known as CFOP because there are four main parts and that is cross F2L OLL and PLL. So today I'm going to go over the cross and F2L. Um, also, so you know, um, if during this video you get confused, um, I will have the links to the videos in the description from where I learned the cross and F2L. Um, I'm not going to go over all the F2L um, like cases. But I'm going to go over the main ones that commonly show up, and I'm going to show you how to deal with the other cases. Um, this is sort of semi, semi-intuitive. semi It's not going to be um, all algs or all intuitive. Um, so that's what the F2L is going to be like. The cross, um, I'm probably going to screw up pretty bad, and you'll probably have to look at look up another video but yeah i hope you all enjoy this video so the first thing you want to do is obviously mix up your cube and then now i'm going to tell you what things you will try and look for so um the three main things you want to look for is um on the bottom layer if there's a white piece like this um if there's a white edge like this, that doesn't really matter because we don't really care about that. Um, so the three things that you like want to happen is you want um, like a white piece like this. And then on the bottom layer that's connecting, like it could be like that. But at least it lines up like that. And then um, a piece in the middle layer. Like, because then it's just, like, either one or two moves to move it into the bottom layer. And then the third part is for um, edge pieces in the top layer that are, the white is facing up. Like, that's a good sign. So, um, so every cross can be solved in eight moves or less. Um, I'm actually not sure whether that includes moving the bottom layer to align it with the centers or not. But every cross can be solved in eight moves or less. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, there are many intuitive ways to uh, bring the number of uh, moves down. Um, I would say when you're practicing cross, um, try and remember the moves you can do so then you can like like solve the cross blindfolded or something like that because that will help like bring down your inspection time and um help your look ahead for moving on to f2l so first thing you want to do is you want to move any um edge pieces in the middle layer or the top layer where they're facing up down into the bottom layer in relation to any pieces in the bottom layer. So what I mean by that is say you didn't have any down, you would want to move that. And this is where remembering your color scheme comes in handy. So with white on the bottom, it goes red, green, orange, blue with my color scheme. So then we just remember orange is across from red and Green comes to the left of orange, and blue comes to the right of orange. Stuff like that will help a lot. So this first piece, um, we see it's opposite to its center, 
and this red piece, we can line it up opposite to its center and bring it down. And then we, since those two are opposite, these two we want opposite also. So we can bring that down and then that there and then like that and they're all opposite and then move it over. So um that was one example. Um there's also better ways to do this like um is this a good example? Yeah, this is a good example. So um if you have like a piece like this and a piece like this, you can easily put those two in by doing one, two, three, three easy moves to line them up in accordance to one another. And then when doing that, you just put that one there. And then when you come up with one last piece that has to go in like, like, and it's in the top layer and it's not facing up, what you want to do is you want to push this out of the way and then just bring it down like that. So that was a quick three moves and then four. So overall that cross was good. It took about seven moves to put in. Um, I'm also not the best at cross, but um, I'm sure other people can solve the cross always in six moves or less. So... Let's move on to another example. Um, this is an okay example. Well, it's a good example. So, we see this piece is in and this piece is in, but they're not lining up in accordance to one another. But then we see this red piece, and then we can put that in there. And then we can bring this piece out and line it up with that center, and then move this layer and then bring those two in. So that's another example. I'm just gonna do a couple more examples in this because it's sort of hard to explain. Um, here we see this lines up and this lines up and then that piece is there and we see um, if we move it like that, it lines up. So then what we can do is we can bring this piece down and that piece and then we can move this piece down and then move the bottom layer over and bring it in like that. So, um, I hope this helped. Um, this probably wasn't, um, what, this probably didn't help that much unless you just, um, yeah, it probably didn't help that much, but, um, I will put a link into the description from the for the video that I learned from. So, I hope that helps. So, the next part of this video will be F2L. So, now that you have completed your cross, the next part is F2L. Um F2L is basically the goal of F2L is basically pairing up um corner and edge pieces like that and then inserting them to simultaneously complete the first two layers. So there are a couple um, ways to do this. Um, I'm going to teach you the way that is partly intuitive and part algorithms. Um, I'm not going to like say the algorithms, but like I'll show you how to do it instead of you just having to learn how. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, so, I'm just gonna mix up the F2L, thank you, so, so, once you complete your cross, um, the first thing I'd look for is a white corner, and then once you see that white corner, identify the two other colors, and then find that edge the edges over here. So, um, there are a couple of cases that you can run into. Um, the first thing you want to do, no matter what the case, um, some of the cases are already, like, already are set up like this, but you want to bring both pieces into the top layer without disturbing any, um, 
previously inserted F2L pairs and you want them to be separated so this isn't separated so what we can do is we hide the edge and move the corner to a different spot and then there they are separated so that's the first thing you want to do and then um then once you do that there are a couple cases that might show up so there's the case where um the two colors on top are the same and then there's um then there's the case where they're different um doo -doo -doo. yeah i don't know how to choose that right now because i'm a noob um so then there's another case where the top two colors are different and then there's um one last case where the white the corner the white is showing up so those are the three main types of cases so then, um, first thing I'm going to do is show you for this case where the corner is pointing up, since it's the easiest. Um, so when the corner is pointing up, what you want to do is you want to align, you want to look at the edge, and you want to align this color with its centerpiece, like say right there. And then, um, what you want to do is you want to look at the top, and you want to put it push it in the opposite direction of that color so you wouldn't want to put it there because that would line it up you don't want to line it up so you'd move it over there and then you just move this corner on top of it and bring this back down and it pairs it up um and then the way to insert the pairs is you um put it above the slot and then you just push it out of the way bring the slot up and put it in then bring it down like that so that's um all the same for all of the um cases where the white is facing up so the second case um for f2l is where the top colors are the same um there are two examples for this part um, and there's, for each example, there's a, one on the left side and one on the right side. Like, this one's on the left since the white is pointing out, but then it could also be pointing to the right. So, it just depends on the case. Um, so, in this example, for both examples, what you want to do is you want to put the corner either in the back left or the back right. Either one is fine as long as the white is facing out like that. So, um, so that's what you want to do. And you determine which example it is from where the edge is. Um, like this is um, one of the examples because the edge is in front and then the other example is where the edge is on the side so um for each for both of the examples there is a mirror one on the left side and one on the right side um you basically do the same thing just with l l prime instead of r or r instead of l prime so the first example is when the edge piece is on the side. What you want to do is you hide the corner and then push the edge all the way to the back and then bring the corner back. Um, it's actually the same exact concept if the edge is in front. You hide the corner, put the edge to the back, and then bring the corner back up and then just insert. So that's the second um, type of F2L thing it will be. Um, and then the third um, F2L case is when the colors are the opposite. So um, here, let me get it to that case. Um, here the colors are opposite. Um, there are also two cases for this. There is a case where 
um, when in the back, like, when the pieces are in the back and the white is facing that way, it's on the side, or when it's on the front. Um, when it's in the front, it's actually extremely easy, because all you have to do is put the corner right above the slot, and then just bring the corner up, rotate the up layer, and then bring the corner down. Um, the other case where the edge is on the side is actually harder. Um, so, this case where it's on the where the edge is on the left side, what you want to make sure is that it lines up like this, up, like next to the spot, like the edge lines up like that. And then you want to hide the edge and then move this corner over and then bring the edge back up. And then it's just the first example where you put this corner above the slot and then insert it. So then, um, it's basically the same thing for if it's the edge is on the right side, you just hide the edge, um, and then move the corner over. So you hide the edge, move the corner over, and bring the edge back, and then put the corner above the slot, and then, um, just do an R, U, R prime to insert it. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I'm hoping at least the F2L was a good explanation. I don't think the cross was that good of an explanation. Um, so I will, of course, put a, um, link to the video I learned from if this video was, didn't make sense. Um, the cross video probably didn't, the cross part didn't make, probably didn't make sense. So, I will definitely put a link to the video I learned from. So, hope you all enjoyed.